People in Rapid City are voicing concerns as homicides have doubled in the community from previous years. In tonight's Eye on Killerland, Sidney Thorson talks with the police department about its efforts to keep people safe as crimes rise. Captain John Olson with the Rapid City Police's Investigation Division says usually the number of homicides each year averages around four to five. Right now, there have been 11. That is concerning. But crime kind of happens that way. Captain Olson says the majority of these homicides happen behind closed doors with people who know each other. They're hanging out, um, uh, friends of friends, uh, gatherings, um, things like that, and usually happening without any presence of, of us or really out in the public. So these, these meetings uh, goes awry and then uh, bad things happen. While there are unsolved cases, Captain Olson says the vast majority of suspects have been arrested. We're now working towards um, getting uh, information on all of those homicides. Some things we're still waiting for, uh, either for forensics or interviews and things like that. But we really feel like all the pieces are falling into place and feel very confident that we're going to have a resolution um, on uh, most, if not all, of the cases. Prairie's Edge is a local business in downtown Rapid City. Department manager Anthony Kitchen says it's important to be alert. We're just more aware and try and be more on the lookout and be proactive of, of who we're dealing with to just kind of catch it before anything happens or before any incident occurs, whether violent or argumentative. So, you know, just being aware is the biggest thing. Kitchen says the business has been around for a while now and employees know to treat everyone that walks in the door with good customer service. Um, other things we've done, you know, recently we've kept our front door to just one door versus our three doors that we normally have most summers and that kind of limits traffic in and out of the one door too which we can regulate who's coming in and who's going out. While Kitchen says he is concerned with the dramatic rise in homicides, he knows the police are doing the best they can to keep the community safe. You know they've got a lot on their plate right now dealing with a lot of uh, just sections of the city that have their own issues. You know most of these incidents seem to be among individuals that know each other so it's not that threat of just random violence really isn't there. Lee and Jean Holm live in town. They also shared their concerns. You know, I don't know about any uh, homicide specifically in this neighborhood, but we've had a couple incidents uh, across the street in the last uh, few weeks. And so we're alert and aware of that. And I think most of the folks in this neighborhood are aware of it as well. So it's a little bit of a concern. Lee says neighbors in the area also look out for one another. I think that's an important aspect of it, you know, that let your neighbors know what's going on in your neighborhood and uh, they kind of look out for one another. Rapid City Police are asking folks who know anything about the homicide cases to call. Any information helps. With Ion Kelloland, I'm Sydney Thorson. And Captain Olson also says that drugs and alcohol oftentimes play a role in homicide cases.